So I ran across a post today and the post prompted me to jump on here and to encourage somebody simply because I know that God has given me the wisdom on this matter. The post, so the post read, a reminder, your anxiety is not a sin. Your depression is not a sin. Your PTSD is not a sin. What is sinful is when someone adds to your trauma by telling you that your depression, anxiety, and PTSD reveals a lack of faith in God. Family, let me say a word or two about a life of faith. In this world, we were never promised to be without trouble. We were never promised to be without things that hurt us. In fact, the word of God encourages us to take heart when it does come because it's sure, it is sure to come. And so living a life of faith includes having ups and downs. Living a life of faith includes highs and lows. And just the mere fact that you are determined to get up every single day and fight through your depression and fight through your anxiety, and fight through any other traumatic response that happens. That is simply, that is truly what it means to live out a life of faith. And that's actually what that reveals. So don't let the world tell you that your traumatic responses are a sin because they are not. God does not frown upon us because we have depression. God does not frown upon us because we have any other traumatic response or any response to trauma. And it's actually, in fact, courageous. Yeah, you heard that. It's courageous. It, it takes a lot of courage to get up and to live out what it means to have your highs and to have your lows as well. Because life is not is an equal balance of both. And so I just want to encourage someone today that whatever, if you, if this is you, if you have feelings that you think God frowns upon you because you are depressed or because you have anxiety, that's not true. That's simply not true. God loves you. And actually it reveals how it looks to walk out a life of faith. So no, friend, you are not void of faith. You are not a, it is not a lack of faith because you have depression. So I want you to be encouraged to walk out and to continue to walk out your faith because that's truly what it means to walk out your faith is to experience and to allow yourself to experience your highs and your lows, your ups and your downs. And know that when you're doing, while you're doing it, God is right there with you and he is loving on you and he is helping you through and he's giving you the strength that you don't even think you have when you have, when you indeed have it. Why? Because God's strength is made perfect in our weakness. Be encouraged today, family. I love you and God loves you even in the midst of all those things. Amen. Amen.